Nigeria's currency weakened 1.4% against the dollar to 155.95 after the central bank lifted curbs on dollar sales to foreign exchange bureaus. This is the biggest decline the Naira has experienced since March. And Sam Ochehu, Director of Global Market Trading at Stanbic IBTC Bank, joins us now from Lagos for more detail. Thanks so much, Sam, for joining us this afternoon. While well, the Naira falling to lows, as I've said, against the dollar, its weakness that continues to come through and that ever since we we saw the central bank remove restrictions on the amount of dollars lenders could sell to Bureau de Change. Uh, take us through the move and the rationale behind it, first of all. Um, first of all, yesterday the interbank market closed at uh, 95 on 155, and uh, coming from 153 levels, I think that was a serious depreciation of the currency, uh, which has been uh, a serious slow in recent time. And the major reason, as you've adduced, is the fact that uh, the central bank came out with a cycle of removing the cap on the sale to the bureaus. And um, what has happened is so that with the cap, we saw the rates in the, with the, uh, the black market going to a high as 166, which created a wide uh, divergence between the official market and the parallel market. And that, in my opinion, would have created a lot of room for round tripping because then people can easily, there's encouragement, there's the inducement for people to assess the official funds and take it to the parallel market to sell. I don't think central bank is interested in that. And then at a certain ban, in my opinion, at a certain ban, the World Bank will be very concerned if the difference between the parallel market rate and the, uh, the official rate is that high. They might then start looking at the parallel market rate as the uh, official rate for the market. I don't think the central bank will want that. So what they've done is to increase the supply to that market again. And most of those demand, it cannot be sourced from the central bank. It has to be sourced from the interbank market. So we've seen a lot of demand come back to the interbank market that was not either that either two was not there and that is why we saw the rate moving from the 153 levels mm -hmm. to approximately 156 levels so where we've seen this rush uh, you know a r rush of demand for the dollar on the interbank market and forcing the local currency to depreciate what are you making of this weakness that we've seen filtered through is it a knee-jerk reaction that's filtering through or is this set to be a sustained driver of currency movement from here on out well, um, there's going to be some cyclical pattern in, in this move. If you ask me on the long run, I would say we still see some depreciation of the currency. One, we're going to have the BDCs coming to demand on, uh, I mean demand on the interbank. Then if you look at the, the WDAS window, which is the official market, year to date, about 21.62 billion have been sold in that market compared to um, 14.8, same period last year. So you see that there's been significant increase in the demand even on the official window. Uh, in, the, in this month alone, we've seen a 1 naira 24 cobalt depreciation of the currency. We've seen the highest demand this year coming through at 592 uh, billion, I mean, uh, million dollars in a part, at a particular auction, which shows that there is much demand. The question to ask is that are these demands all corporate? Mm -hmm. Do we see other demands there? I think there are some demands from fiscal induced liquidity that are in the system that is actually chasing these effects. That's one thing I think, and that's why you've seen a lot of volumes in the demand coming through the official window. Then in addition to the demand from the bureaus, that tells you that uh, there's a lot of movement either from Naira to the dollar, because even the interest rate right now are very unattractive. So people are probably putting their uh, funds in USD right now. So having said what you have, do you see the central bank raising its supply at the next auction? Well, depend on the expected demand. Uh, they, they probably, I will expect them to raise their demand. But I think more importantly, what we will need is seeing more flows from the oil companies. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the end of the month. A lot of them might want to meet up their working capital need. So we expect them to come into the market. But one major flow that will really help the market at the moment is the NMPC flow. So if they come up with their 500 to $600 million, then that should really help create a short-term reprieve for, for the Naira. So far, we've seen dealers say that that the Nigerian liquefied natural gas company has sold some dollars uh, to the selected lenders on Monday, but that hasn't been enough to support the Naira. Uh, looking at that oil price, uh, to what extent are you concerned that on the back of growth concerns out of Europe and the US, we could see that oil price depreciate? And so that support factor that you've just highlighted uh, possibly dissipating as we progress through. 
Honestly, that is a major concern because that's one area the central bank really does not have control over. They don't have control over what the oil price is like. And with the uncertainty in the oil price and the fact that there's no accretion to the FX reserve at the moment, that creates worry, especially for the international investors. Most of them that would have loved to come in have technically stayed away because they can't see any accretion to FX Reserve, they can't predict the oil price movement, and with that they don't believe that on the long run the central bank can sustain the, the uh, FX rate at the level it, in which it is at the moment. And so it has kind of kept them away. We're not seeing the kind of portfolio flows that we should have seen in this market. With people moving away, with some of them moving away from uh, the stock exchange, you expect them to come into the fixed income market. But technically that, has, that is also a control contribution to what has been putting pressure on the reserve because seeing a lot of them exiting the equities and with all the problem in US and the European market, I think most of them are probably just holding their liquidity in idle cash at the moment as opposed to investing in the emerging market.